Hello, this is Andrew with PokerChipTracker.com and I'm here to show you PokerChip Tracker for the iPhone. Uh, PokerChip Tracker is an app that lets you record the details of a live poker game and uh, send game reports uh, of that game to your uh, friends, family, and fans uh, via Facebook and email and uh, website. So um, when you first load PokerChip Tracker, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. Um, right here you've got a link to the video that you're watching right now. Um, you've also got a link to the PokerChipTracker.com website. Um, and then you've got uh, buttons up here which will let you start a new uh, game report for a new game. Um, and you also have a settings menu. Um, the settings menu will let you connect to Facebook. Um, I'm already connected so this is showing logout but normally it will show connect. Um, and it'll let you set the uh, the player name that you're going to use in your game reports. This will get filled in in the uh, the hand details, and you'll also see it right here on the front of your your uh, home screen here. <clears throat> okay, so uh, if I go to start a new cash game, I click on cash game, um, and I'm going to see a listing of the poker rooms that Poker Chip Tracker is aware of. Um, we're always adding rooms. Um, some of these rooms we have images for built into the, uh, the app. Some of them we do not. Um, if you don't see the room that you uh, normally play in, you can sort by name here. Um, then you can always add your own. So um, let's say I want to add a new room, call it Andrew's Place. And now you'll see the green button at the bottom. Instead of saying set, it says add location because this would add it to the list. Um, but I'm not going to add a location. I'm just going to choose one uh, from the list. And you can also use this button that says by distance to um, sort the rooms in order of how close they are to you. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I can see that up here I've got several casinos up here in Washington State where we're at. And uh, so I could pick one of those. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick um, a Las Vegas casino. How about the Mirage? Okay, now uh, this will this is where I fill in the details of the game I'm playing in. Um, if I choose Hold'em or Omaha, um, it's going to affect how the hand details are recorded. Um, Omaha, it's going to give you four hole cards when you record the hand details, and Hold'em, it's going to give you two. Um, for this uh, demo, I'm going to use Hold'em. And let's make it a no limit hold'em game and set the blinds to uh, two dollars and five dollars. I'm also going to fill in the min and max buy-in. You don't have to fill all these fields in. You don't have to fill in any of them in if you don't want to. Okay, so I hit set, and now I have the initial view of my game report that I'm building, um, and you can see it filled in an image for the Mirage. And uh, you see the details that you filled in on the previous page also. Um, at this point, you can click on any of these um, fields to edit them. So if I click on the Mirage, um, it brings me back to the location uh, picker and uh, leaves me at the Mirage. So I'm not going to change that. Um, if I click on one of those fields, it's going to give me the detail screen again. Okay, um, so at this point, I am ready to add my buy-in entry for the game. So I click Add. And uh, here's where you pick the type of entry you're making in your game report. The first one I'm going to make is always my buy-in. And here's where you enter the details for that particular entry. So let's say I bought in for $500. And uh, here you have the option to add an image. Um, this is demos being done in the iPhone simulator. Otherwise, if it was on an iPhone, you would see a button here that lets you take a picture with the camera but I'm just going to choose a picture from the library. I have some images that I'd previously taken with the uh, iPhone camera. Okay, and I also have the option to add some notes. Um, so I could add something here, like let's say, uh, looks like a tight table. And I'm going to save my entry. Okay. Now I can see the entry shows up in my game report. Um, my image is there that I added. 
And uh, I have the notes here. Um, if, let's say, I didn't want the notes, um, if I delete this, um, you'll see that that section on the game report uh, disappears. Okay, um, so I'm going to add uh, another entry, and this time I'm going to add chip count. This is probably the most common one I add when I'm playing, um, when I'm too lazy to add the details of every hand. Um, and all the chip count does is it tracks you know, where your chip stack is at um, over time. So uh, let's say on this particular one I was up to $650. Uh, and again, I'm going to add an image. And of course I can add notes again, but I'm not going to. So now you can see the two entries I have added to my, my game report. You can click on any of these. Um, I can also delete these entries if I click the edit button right here. Um, now I have the option to delete these. If I click here, it's going to let me delete it. Um, also, if you want to change the image, let's say I, I didn't like the image that I had here. And click edit. I can select a different image from the library. And now that image is going to show up. Um, if I want the stock image back, I just have to choose the Mirage as a location again. Um, and now I have my Mirage image back. Okay, um, now I'm going to add the most interesting type of entry you can, which is the hand details. Uh, hand details lets you record exactly what happened in a hand. So you can see when I put on the settings menu, I filled in my name. It's got my name uh, filled in for me right here. Um, I can also put in the name of my opponent. Um, if I click here, so let's uh, say I'm just going to call him bad guy. Um, and here you enter the uh, how much how many chips that each of you had before the hand started. So let's say I started the hand with 700. And my opponent started the hand with 650. Uh, now I can uh, choose the cards that we each had in the hand. So let's say, for example, um, so, well, before I go to that, I'll explain that this page lets you pick the cards. Um, you click on the bottom to change the suit of the cards. So let's say for this example, I had pocket aces, right? the ace of diamonds, and the ace of hearts. And let's say my opponent had the king of clubs and the king of diamonds. Okay, um, and again, same thing with the flop. You can just add your your cards, and uh, you have the the ability to add notes here. So here, I would add something like, you know, I bet he raised, I called. Those kinds of kind of details. I'm going to save this entry, and now I'll see this in my uh, game report with everything else. Um, the last uh, type of entry that I'm going to add is either going to be a cash out or a bust out. So a bust out is um, an entry you make if you go broke in a game. So let's say you're in a tournament and uh, you get busted out of the tournament, or if you're in a cash game and you leave with no money, you can choose bust out. Um, or if you leave a cash game with money, you can use a cash out entry. Same thing with the tournament. If you um, make it into the money in the tournament, use the cash out. So again, this should look pretty familiar by now. Um, I'm going to choose an image. And I'm going to say that I cashed out for $900. And I'm going to add a note that says, I left up $400. Okay, now I've got my whole game report together. Um, I recorded the details of uh, the game while I was playing. Um, now if I go back to the home screen, um, I will see this game listed here. Um, the most recent games are shown at the top. Um, if you have enough games that um, fill up the screen, um, this little help section is going to disappear. Um, at that point, you shouldn't need it. 
Um, okay, so again, you can click on your game at any time and you come right back to the game report that you were constructing. Now let's say I want to send my game report. This is how you share it with your friends and family and fans. And it gives you this, these options for sending. So upload to the server, that's where your game report is hosted. Um, you know, sometimes you may just want to update the copy of your game report that's on the server. You can do that. Um, normally you can send via email. You can also update Facebook. So in this case, I'm just going to uh, upload to the server and compose an email from that. So you'll see it uh, uploading your game report, and it has to upload all your images separately. So you'll see um, you know, it doing 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5, and we're done. Okay, so now your game report is on the server and it composed an email for you. And right here you have a link to the game report in your in on the server. Um, and you can email this to someone in your contacts. So I'm not going to email this report. Uh, I'm just going to delete it, but I could. Um, but now that I've uploaded it to the server, you'll see that I have a button here on the bottom that says View Game Report. Um, this will let me launch a browser. Um, which is going to show me my game report on the server. So you can see the game report is um, you know, an HTML file that was constructed for me that has all my images, and all my details. You can see it filled in the uh, address and website for the Mirage, which is where I was playing. You can see that it's got the images I, uh, I put in for each hand and the details, so the amount I started with at that point. And you can see the hand details that were recorded with the notes that you that you added in. Okay, and that's about it for the game report. Uh, I'm going to go back back to the app, and uh, again, let's say I, I, I made some changes to the game report. I can always just upload to the server again without composing an email. Um, another thing that the app allows you to do is post to your wall on Facebook. So if you set this to on, um, again, the, uh, the report has to be on the server to post to Facebook. Facebook is just going to have a link to your uh, report. So um, I've already uploaded it, so I'm just going to say post to Facebook. Okay, now I'm going to get the regular Facebook uh, pop-up that lets me post to the wall. And you'll see the little poker chip tracker graphic. Um, and this is what's going to get published to your wall. You can add some comments right here if you want. Um, and uh, this is the image and uh, the details of the game that you put in right here um, will go on your wall on Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and close this because I'm not going to bother posting it onto my actual wall on Facebook. And that is essentially it. Um, you can add uh, tournaments. Also, um, everything's very similar to um, <clears throat> a cash game. The only difference is going to be um, on the next page. You'll see that instead of uh, you know the blinds, you've got your buy-in for the tournament. So, um, let's say it was a $500 tournament, and the house was charging $40. So I, I could say 500 plus 40 tournament. And uh, let's say I start with. Uh, 12,000 in chips, and I have 60 minute levels. That'd be pretty good structure. And again, you see it constructed um, the details up here. And if I go back to uh, my home page, now I can see I've got that tournament also listed at the top of the page here. Um, that's about it for Poker Chip Tracker. Um, if you need to contact uh, us for support, you can find uh, contact information at pokerchiptracker.com and I uh, hope you enjoy the application and good luck at the tables.